Design in and of itself is just something that's always been in me and it's like, it's what I enjoy doing. So the idea of creating something from nothing, you start with a blank page or you start with a blank file on the computer and then to see that go through all its phases and then end up with a tangible product, that's what really excites me and I'm not sure how to, to quantify it, but it's just that drive and that, that rush I get from seeing kind of that whole process come to an end with an actual designed product. So as a child, when I would sit there and, and draw for hours, you know, with my pencils and my crayons and everything all laid out, it's kind of my own little world where I could create and obsess over every detail and have control of the whole experience. And that obsession with detail is something that has stuck with me through the years and continues to be part of what I'm doing now with the Ugg Monk brand. So Ugg Monk was born out of a desire to create products and designs that I personally liked. And at the time, there weren't a lot of options that fit the style that I was looking for. So I designed things that fit my personal taste. And it's, it's not designing for the trends, but it's designing for things that I like. So whether it's a simple letter or a hand-drawn font that I've put onto a shirt, or if it's just a geometric design that I've come up with, but relating that back to something that I personally like rather than trying to please the masses, is something that has always been a core of what I'm doing with Ugg Monk. As things first started taking off and uh, shirts grew from 50 shirts here and there to a couple hundred shirts to, you know, a thousand shirts, they literally started taking over our one-bedroom apartment. We had shirts piled high in every room. So as we grew out of that, we eventually built out my parents' basement and turned it into the Ugg Monk warehouse. When I launched the shirt and then I woke up, that was when I knew Ugg Monk was here to stay. We sold out of that shirt in a couple weeks and got picked up on all sorts of design blogs and got a lot of positive feedback. So as people were asking, you know, when are you gonna launch your next shirt? When are you gonna add to the collection? That was what you know, really fueled me to keep on going and keep pushing rather than to let it die off. When I launched Ugg Monk, it wasn't just about launching a t-shirt brand. I wanted to launch a design brand. Um, T-shirts were the first medium of applying that design. So as the brand grew, I was able to expand into other products and apply that same design mentality and that simplicity and minimalism that I was doing on the shirts to other things like screen printed posters and handcrafted leather journals and you know a variety of other accessories. As a designer, I have tons of ideas, but not all of those ideas are easy to execute. There's a lot more work that goes into refining those ideas and reworking until they're perfect or perfect, at least in my sense. And that's why Ugg is a lot more about the design than it is just about selling t-shirts. Quality is definitely more important than quantity, and that's why we only put out a limited number of products each year. Instead of just cranking out designs in every color or trying to put out a new collection every week, I'm much more focused on refining those designs and putting out something that I'm really proud of. A lot of people see the brand and they instantly say, you know, there's something different about it, there's something I like about it, but they don't know how to quantify it. And to me, it's really all about those little details that are all adding up into this finished product. And I think that's a lot of what has to do with setting it apart from other brands. I hope to continue designing for as long as I can. Uh, it's what fuels me and it's what motivates me to keep going. And that passion for design is really what has started Ugg Monk and will continue to keep Ugg Monk going.